3,100, 10 pounds. This is the very popular uh, Rear Kitchen Hummingbird by Jayco here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If you'd like to see what we have in stock, how it's equipped, what we are asking without those pesky hidden fees, give us a call. Visit the link in the video description, visit our dealership, visit our website, whatever. We put everything right on the table, make it simple, easy, uh, God forbid fun, because you know, it's a recreational vehicle. The word recreation is literally in the name. We do try to accomplish a little bit of fun along the way. Uh, so what made this such a, a breakout star last year? That's what I want to focus on, because man, alive. Do we carry a lot of different brands of trailers and things here at Haylet RV? There you got a nice shot of our uh, parts and service center there. So why have these little things been fluttering in and out so quickly? <laughs> Get it? Fluttering? Not a good joke. Anyway, so what makes it tick? Let's start with that. First of all, they're very small. They're very easily towable. This is actually one of the largest hummingbirds. It actually has the largest slide out of any of the hummingbirds uh, with the dinette and um, refrigerator microwave combination slide. Uh, so it does come in slightly heavier, 3,110 pounds, but still super easily towable. First of all, it is not a nose cap, but it just looks like one. Those decals look exactly like a nose cap. The first time I saw it, I actually had to walk up and physically touch it to know for sure. Uh, towability, let's talk that. This is an extremely narrow body. It's only six and a half foot wide. That means you can easily see around it with standard vehicle mirrors, although towing me extension mirrors like we have in our shop, those are always a good idea. I always recommend to our campers here at Halo to get tow extension mirrors, no matter what you're towing. I don't care if it's a pop-up, it's just smart. Anyway, so it's narrow body, which reduces headwinds. It also improves stability, because you notice how the fender wells are actually outside of the body of the camper. That actually, that, that basically translates into better stability. Um, now, in addition to that, it slip streams down the road very nicely. One, due to the shape. Two, due to the, the smaller stature. But three, due to the fact that you have a one-piece smooth fiberglass sweep front to back. There is no rubberized roofing on this critter. Um, the, actually, the middle top section of the roofing is, is laminated. Then you have the fiberglass molds around a, uh, a skeleton built underneath of that effectively. So that's really different and interesting uh, compared to industry standard construction. Now, in this pseudo teardropish category, like, like you see the hummingbirds, that's not uncommon, actually. Um, the, the whole shape of this, like you see the little hawk bill up front, whatever you want to call it, the little hummingbird beak. Well, that's actually the secret weapon to the hummingbird series. People who have been in the different teardrops, and we carry different brands of teardrops here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, um, they, they'll get in the hummingbird and they'll notice like it might have a little bit bigger countertop or it might have a little bit more space or an extra cabinet that the others don't get and they can't figure out how or why. And it's actually this little hook bill design here that makes that happen. By sneaking, the, 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 this is where the bed sticks out basically, by giving it that extra like six inches, it, it gives this, the designers the ability to have six inches of space here that other brands of similar products do not have. That little design change right there is what gives Jayco the ability to come up with some very different things or just uh, potentially better versions of existing things. Um, now this is uh, all stone guarded up front down here so it's gonna you know take a lick and keep on ticking. You do have your gas and electric water heater so if you, I mean these things are awesome for like national park camping, dry camping, what boondocking, whatever you want to call it, but they're fully featured for park camping as well. Um, all of your hookups, including a hot and cold outside shower, are over here. I see a lot of cold water only spray ports penetrating into the industry again because it's an area I think a lot of brands don't think customers pay attention to. And obviously, Jayco does. You know, they go that extra step there. There's nothing wrong with cold water spray port, but this is just better. So, um, We've got all LED lights too, not just tail lights, but markers as well. All LED exterior lighting is actually not even industry standard in luxury fifth wheels. Now, compared to when this was first released uh, uh, in its uh, an inaugural debut, they added a rear kitchen window and that was the one defect I felt this floor plan had. Every other version I had seen of it had a nice window. But I actually think, having had time to go back and really examine it, Jayco actually executed theirs better because most brands with a rear kitchen teardrop like this, they have the window down here. The problem is, that's at like chest or belly height, depending on how tall you are. This is at actual viewing height, and it does have a privacy shade inside, though chances are with the heavy UV tint on these, you won't need it. Now, 
Uh, up top, you see a low profile, full power air conditioner. That's a 13,000 BTU air. So uh, low profile helps keep the, well, it actually does not increase the exterior height having the roof uh, AC on this because it's still lower than the um, HD TV antenna, which you don't have to crank up or down. Uh, we've got a push button, easy, power awning, four corner stabilizers to help take the seasickness out of it. Um, it even comes with its own picnic table and outdoor entertainment setup. Check this out. So the table actually slots inside of a, a cabinet inside next to the bathroom. I'll show you that when we get in there. But it's a, a resin molded waterproof folding leg metal table. This thing is awesome. You can leave it outside overnight if it rains, who cares? Take a towel, dry it down, let the sun dry it off, no problem. If you choose to add a second TV, or like we've optioned in the, the, the living room, bedroom combination TV in this one, you can actually bring it out here and put it on this little uh, quick release mount right here. It goes on one of these little L&W mounts. L&W meaning Lloyd and Wilbur, AKA the Bond Traegers, AKA the family behind Jayco. And if it was mounted upside down, it's we call it an M7, which sounds like a really cool like spy sort of thing. So when you don't need this, there's a bunch of little places you could store it. But again, good front storage. You know, storage, the smaller an RV gets, the more critical storage becomes, and they did a good job here. And I'm glad the sticker's here, because I almost forgot to talk about one of the most important things on any Jayco RV. And it is one of the things that does separate them from, well, almost ev mm, everything, everything else here at Halet RV, now that I think about it, is that they have that full two-year warranty. They have the best in this class warranty, and frankly, they have the best in class uh, of any class warranty. Um, there is no trailer that has a longer warranty, full coverage, two years, uh, than a Jago. There are very few who have stepped up to try to match that, but some of those that stepped up the last couple years have actually dropped back down to a one-year warranty. And in case you're curious, there is no such thing as a three-year full camper warranty. Now, little stuff like this. We've got a strutted door, and the door is strutted so that it doesn't over-open and bang up your fender well here, which is a defect I had noticed, uh, a design oversight, you could say, on a previous brand of teardrop that we no longer feature here at Halitz. It's, it's a tiny item, but anything. Now, the interior here. Miss Stacy Stewart, the interior designer down at Jayco, has outdone herself with the lightweights this year. These are stellar. Let me set something down here behind me. Perfect. All right. So we'll uh, let me back up. This is called Desert, by the way. I think last year something similar to this was called Granola, but this is called Desert. It's the lighter decor. There's a lighter, there's a darker, there's probably something in between. I don't know. Bottom line is if you like everything in this RV except just the, the color of that cushion right there, well, you give me a call and chances are we either have another one in stock or we'll sure get you one. But what they did here is they lightened it all up. This darker accent wood right here, that used to be what everything looked like. And it looked rich, but it made it look dark and small and depressing. And they brightened it up with some light dark contrast and it is sharp in here. So this is that larger slide out I was telling you about, largest slide out in the Hummingbird lineup. You still maintain full overhead storage. And like all Jayco's, overhead doors are strutted for easy lift assistance and all cabinets are pocket screwed, meaning they're screwed together, not stapled and glued. It is screwed and tattooed. Thank you, Gristle, for that. Now over here, extension of the slide out, we have a convection microwave. There are similar brands out there, similar types of products. An area where some have identified they can save a little money is by not going convection on the microwave. They feel that maybe it's a, a preference, not a need. Everyone is entitled to their opinion, and there's nothing wrong with that logic and mindset. There's really nothing wrong with it. But some people like this, that you can actually do some real cooking here. Now we do have gas electric uh, refrigerator with a nice little freezer pocket. So when you are off the beaten path, you're all set here. And notice that little Jayco magnet on the front, the old bluebird here. Um, that is because this has a metallic refrigerator insert. So small spaces, everything has to be multifunctional. So instead of just uh, a cheesy wood panel insert, they made it metallic and made it functional. Now, again, the rear kitchen here, that window, that big window uh, on the rear wall right there, that didn't used to be there. And most brands, they put it right above the sink. Having it mounted up higher like this, I think is just the best thing they could have done because it lets, between the lighter wood tones, the excellent lighting package, like just right here. I got four lights in the frame right here. And I mean, I, I didn't even plan that. There's just a lot of lights in this thing. Um, the lighter countertops and cabinets and everything, it, it does not feel uh, claustrophobically small in here. Now, this is definitely an efficiency apartment. This is an awesome base camp when you want to go somewhere and go out and about. But 
You've also got some nice prep space inside, and that's what I think made the rear kitchen the most popular hummingbird here at Haylitz. You've got good space here. You can actually throw a couple little appliances in it, and they didn't waste an inch of it. Every bit of this space is useful, functional. Now notice too, they don't have cheaper um, press board constructed drawers. We have triple plywood boxed full extension drawers, extra little outlets here for appliances. And again, every s just little snippet of space they could use, they did. Now the reason that's paneled off is there's some like hookups and there's some utility stuff on the outside of that. Now, so your slide out starts here, it moves forward. And this by the way is a full six and a half foot interior height. So. You don't have to duck in this. Like, I'm 6'3", I'm walking around, no problem. Like, to, just to give you a point, let's see, let's, like, under the, the, the switches of the air conditioner, I'm, I'm still fine. I'm not ducking, I'm not cheating, it just is what it is. We've got a free-floating table. That can fold down into a dinette. So this is one of the few hummingbirds that really comfortably can sleep a taller guest instead of just a kid. And they gave you doors for easy access to the storage on both sides of that dinette, which is a nice little thing. When you do flip this down into a sleeper, you pull this cushion out of the way, you get to see they actually put like a little pretend headboard in there. But that's just a little nice utility out of sight, out of mind storage as well. Speaking of storage, the kitchen really wasn't done. When you turn around, you get to see, oh, there's more of it over here. So this is that slot I was telling you about. The picnic table can store right in here, so it doesn't eat up outside storage. But you get in here, we've got a pretty respectable pantry, and these are adjustable shelves, by the way, so if you want to convert that around, you absolutely can. Up here, just a nice generic overhead uh, storage compartment because you'll always find use for it. That's probably good for like cereal boxes and stuff. I like that all your switches and everything are right by the door, so it's easy to get to. Um, <clears throat> when the slide is closed, by the way, you can still snake through here. You don't have to have the slide open to use it. It just makes this floor plan much, much better. This so bathroom. This is uh, the, the, the area that a lot of people love or hate these things. So this has what's called a wet bath. It's a combination, bathroom, shower, toilet, closet, whatever. A lot of people who buy our hummingbirds, they're buying this thing because they don't care about the bathroom. They have no interest in the bathroom. They're never gonna use the bathroom in a camper. So they like that this has a very minimalistic bathroom. Now they do give you a couple little shower caddies here for like uh, shampoos and things like that. And that's your sink, by the way. I had somebody say, oh, they even came with a urinal. <laughs> no. No, no, they didn't. That's that's a sink. It's a tiny sink, but that's the, the corner sink. This is like a truck camper bathroom, guys. It's, it's here to do a service. It's not here to be amazing. It's small, it's minimalist, but it's effective. What more do you really need out of it? There's that big full-size air conditioner I was telling you about. Um, over here, this is one of those areas where that extra six inches I was telling you about on the Hummingbird makes a difference. Because normally you can either get closet and dresser storage or a pantry, but the hummingbird is giving you both and it's doing a very good job of it. Because of that extra little kick out, that hawk bill on the nose gives you the extra bounce of space that you need to make this happen. More adjustable shelving, so whether you need hanging storage or pantry, you have it. This is AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, inside, outside speakers, all that good stuff. And we have, uh, we generally option the TV into these. However, it is possible that if we run out of stock, we'll call Jayco and say, whatever you have, get it to us as soon as possible. Maybe it doesn't have a TV. Always visit our website. Always call our guys. Because again, what if you just don't like the cushions? I got a different one in stock with different cushions, probably. And if not, we'll get you one. This is a sliding panel window, by the way. You want good cross reason here you got it and look how they're fully framing out their windows in this little thing that is not common and that's through the whole camper now up here your master bed you've got dual cross breeze windows here the uh, TV mount is actually up here on this corner so if you want to watch TV in bed I probably put the pillows on the wrong side now that I look at it but this TV if I open there there we go TV can swing out and easily face your slide out right there normally the TV would be mounted on it but we like to have our ship loose here at Halo so that uh, after our quality inspections where we check the TV to make sure it works, you're the first one to touch it. Um, that's pretty much it. I think you get the idea. Uh, there's there's a lot of sim like this this segment of the market. Um, that's your TV right there, by the way. It absolutely exploded last year. And all of a sudden, last year, everybody decided they needed to build something like this. And you know what? They're all pretty cool. Even the ones we don't carry here at Halid RV. But, I think there's a, like, we've looked at these. My job is, I'm, I guess, a big box store call me a product specialist. My job is to look at these different things and say, okay, 
the features versus the dollars, which one's the best value? And we've identified the two that proved most popular and most attractive and the best value to our customers on our lot. They're all cool in different ways. We've thought these were cool in the most ways. Hopefully you agree. If you'd like some more information, definitely give us a call because we'd love the opportunity to meet you here. So 800-256-5196, Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.